Hello and welcome to Maxi's Fun Time. This is Maxi, and we are back here on Feed the Beast Dire Wolf 21.12 edition. Um, today we are going to look at some actually edition power. <laughs> this is one of the only things we have left to look at uh, starting power wise. Um, there is the old uh, survival generator that you can actually just put stuff in and. Uh, I just produce power that way, but but those suck. Those suck. I mean, it's a passive power gen, so there is a way you can just send items into it and let it just like burn constantly. Um, which I might take a look at in a future episode. But for right now, we want to look at this right here. This is the canola press and the fermenting barrel. This is my usual setup for it. So basically, we just put um, all of this into here. Now, nothing's happening because these guys need power. All right. And for right now, let's grab some. stuff here. Now the fermenting barrel here doesn't require power, but these guys do. So you know what? We can just get a creative energy cell, right? That'll work. And then we can put one here and we can put one here. And that'll work for now. And these guys will start uh, producing canola. And all that canola will go into here. As you can see, it, it's already been overwhelmed. <laughs> this is kind of overkill here. Um, uh, I usually like to do about two. Two per barrel. So, um, But you can put a barrel here and a barrel here also. And they'll feed into both of them. So let me show you that. Go back to... Keep ticking up the at symbol. No. There we go. If we get two more fermenting barrels, we can put one here and one here. And as you can see, that one filled and that one filled. And all three of these are actually in your auto. Oh, shoot. Uh, <laughs> this is producing power. Dang it. <laughs> uh, that was too close. Um, let's put you here. It keeps to that too. Uh, that's going to be skewed. Let me get this right here so I can redo this one. That's my mistake. Put that there. Get rid of that power real quick. Okay, you're not producing anymore. And there. All right. So. Where's my bucket? There. Now, the objective here is to make the refined fuel. All right. Now, we can take this refined fuel and we can just pop it in there. And this will use that refined full fuel and it will pump out RF. Look how fast that's going. Now, that says 480 RF. I don't know if that's true. It's, it's 80, 80 CF per tick. So I'm assuming it's going to be 80 RF. I don't know what the conversion rate is over than that one. But. Uh, each so come on so we're running here we're fine you can't upgrade this you can put uh, we you can put this in the ground here All right. and then we can get a canola seed here throw it in there no no that's wrong Mm. It's the crystallize. There it is. Crystallize and empowered. So you take the get the crystallize. To get the crystallize, you hit R right here. You just hit it with the atomic reconstructor and that gives you the crystallized. And then we throw the crystallized into here. 
in, into into here. And that gives you the crystallized. All right. You can then throw in the empowered, and that gives you the empowered. All right. Now to make the empowered, you are going to need no, empowered. You're going to need regular canola and a crystallized in the empower, which that set up you guys know. If you don't know from previous editions, uh, we will go into that. I might get into some actual editions in my Let's Play. But uh, for right now, you don't need to know that. But you can make the upgraded form. But you can't automate that too well. This is the best. Uh, this is your best bet for starting power. You can you can place as I showed right there. You can place stuff uh, next to these, and they will just start generating power because it'll just feed into them. Now I haven't tested this, so I'm going to grab us a, con uh, a compression dynamo here because I want to see if it automatically ejects to a compression dynamo. So here we go. And we're just going to pop that right there. And as you can see, look at that. So you can actually set your compression dynamos here next to those. And if we take this right here and grab a bucket of lava, you can see it does produce power. Off of the refined canola oil. Now, are you done? Yes, you are. Okay, so this bucket, one, this, this bucket here will produce... 192,000 RF. One uh, for one run of the oil generator. However, I did it again. <laughs> if you put it in this one with no upgrades in it, it'll give you uh, right at right over 200. It was 202,000 in this one. It gets. I'm not going to show now because I was a derp. Right, I can reset this. We can just break you. And then. There we go. Got to drain that off there. Zero. All right, and then we can just pop this back down here and grab another bucket. Put that in there and let that run. Now, if you put it in here, and this is with two fuel upgrades. Now there are some specializations for compression, but it is for refined fuel, so this will not qualify for that. But if you put these two in here and put a bucket of canola in here you will get 260 260 thousand now the thing about this I'm glad I set this up like this the thing about this is you can't upgrade these it will always produce 80 its whole entire life all right and it'll always produce 920 R per tick are you, are you done yet you're not so that last lasts forever are we full here are we... What's wrong here? Oh! Derp. <laughs> I was waiting for it to run. And I forgot to put water in it. <sighs> Alright. So, this will run now. Thank Thankfully. I can't believe I did that. It's twice I messed up. So what we're going to do here is we are going to upgrade this one to a full one. All right. At terminal, we're going to use the conversion kit here and convert it over fully. And I need to get rid of this power out of here, so let's uh, transfer this energy trash can over to here. And we will... Nope. 
<laughs> that's, that's the way to do it, right? <laughs> You're empty when I say empty. All right, come on. All right. There we go. Now, this is fully upgraded, and what we want to do here is actually put in these guys here. Now, this guy will produce 120 with these in here, but as I said before, you can do it this way too. And you'll get 600 RF per tick. Um, but I like this one better. And uh, let's go get another bucket. And we'll see how much power we get off of that one. There we go. And go. <laughs> now, this one should be done. Dude, it's still not done. Look, it's so good. <laughs> and this one is running. All right, guys, so I'm going to cut the video here. I'm going to wait for these guys to finish processing, and I'll be back right in a second. See you in a second.